Good morning everyone, this is Leo Donahue on behalf of the Willow Gallery. I'm in my garden at the moment, uh, looking at the pond, which is a great stimulus for me, particularly for Chinese brush painting. Uh, there's always something to look at, uh, quite a lot of dragonflies, if not, well I think they're damselflies actually, lots and lots of them, I don't know if you can see them. But I'll take you into my studio where I work and uh, show you what I've been doing in lockdown. The studio is here. It's quite small, but it's actually perfect for me uh, because I don't do large scale work anymore, only out at people's homes if I'm doing a mural or something similar. So here we have a lot of uh, pieces of paper with old work on, uh, demonstration work, uh, experimental, and it's, it's, it's really the sort of work that you know, once you get to the end of it, it's not really worth framing or doing anything with, but it's still has value and by that I mean you know you can take it into something else by cutting it up into scraps and reusing it. So what I've been doing over lockdown is making some cards and uh, at the back there there's some little coasters I've made, a little red box, uh, red background and I've been making some little lamps, uh, little triangular lamps, a bit like Christmas trees and the little little lamp, uh, little whatever they're called, uh, tea lights, uh, battery operated, are useful and at night they can be so effective. So if you're making them with children or just for yourself, it's great fun. And you can see where the old, uh, the, the work was uh, based around a pond and there's some fish swimming around there. But um, all these things, this is just a mobile I've made out of old scraps and uh, it works quite well. Uh, but one of the things everyone has, at least those of us who wear glasses, will be um, old um, glasses cases. And I have recovered them with some of my, all, all my drawings except this one here, which is um, a tissue pack from, from Aldi, which had a lovely japanese pattern on, and I thought I'll use that. Um, so, and again, over some little boxes uh, where you think it's not worth keeping, just try it, wrap it up. This is how I start off with a little... Uh, Little, little shapes the same as the box and draw them and then see what happens with them when I when I apply them that didn't work and then that one's on a piece of canvas and uh, you know it, it just well you can make you do it for yourself or give it to someone as a gift but the cards um, we all we all use cards all the time for birthdays and so on and cards quite expensive these days and really out of scraps you can make something quite interesting now i have they are enhanced here by the boxes because i had these boxes for um some work i was doing last year and uh but you can use you know you could you could you can, you can use a nice envelope for example um i think i have some over here i'll just reach over um i mean you can buy these things at the at the post office and they're not ex they're not expensive so you could use something like that uh, for them. But um, what, the thing that came out was in cutting a circle out for this piece here, just to frame it, um, as you know, each time you cut a circle out, you're left with a circle and uh, another circle and it just decreases in size. This is a little cutter I bought from the works, about three quid, works really well. So if you cut out some circles and then you're left with um, a circle, ultimately like this one here, which if I pop it over that, you can see that um, that's where it all comes from. And then I cut another circle out, but didn't go cut all the way around. So you're left with some of it still held on. Folded it in half. So I've got a semicircle and a circle. And then I refolded it uh, just a bit further back to create a bit of a stand and give it a bit of ridge at the top. And then here we are. It goes down like so, and it looks quite nice. And then there's another scrap just coming out of um, some drawings I did of birds. And when you pop that in behind, or at least I'll do it that way, um, it looks quite quite nice. And just that's just, I mean, even the one in the middle doesn't work. It doesn't matter. It looks nice. Also, um, from one piece of paper, this one here, I cut out several things. I was looking at seed heads, I think, and how it works on this particular paper. Uh, some honesty there in the corner so out of that I cut this um, this piece of honesty here and this card and I also uh, on the larger scale uh, on the other side of the paper I cut out this one and also this little piece um, of seed heads and so what I've done with these is I've just cut cut it out and um, 
attached it to a piece of card that's all um, it's inside it's just folded you can see very simply so it has a stand and I did put a little a little piece inside to actually stick the the card into so um, it just stands up and it, it just makes a nice present you know, just little grasses with a few a few little pieces that have been scrapped hanging around and it, it just um, it just changes the way the card looks so it's, it's, it's like a 3d and <clears throat> it all comes apart and then it when it all comes apart and flattened down um, you can take it all out and, and then it will just sit under there and you can take those out and pop those and pop those underneath there so when the card arrives you just assemble it yourself uh, if you have creative friends um, I think I think there's so much you can do with just little pieces of um, work that you are going to discard and they can be made into all sorts of things, covering boxes, even covering a book is quite creative. So have a go. Um, on my next video, um, I would like to uh, show you how to assemble a pond. In other words, how to draw all the components that you would have in a pond for a Chinese painting. And I hope um, to be back at the Willow very soon. I miss all my friends there. I miss teaching. And uh, the next one will be on the pond. So I hope you enjoy this little introduction and keep well and safe and creative. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.